Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We had a lot of rain today and decided to have a bit of a leak down in my basement. As you can see here, this is uh, first floor and the basement's obviously below it. Um, it was coming down inside the stink pipe. From what I can gather, it's coming down inside the stink pipe and there must be a broken glue joint or something that it's once it travels down the stink pipe it's weeping out and then traveling down the outside and then leaking all the way into the ba floor of the basement of the house so my solution instead of obviously cutting out gyp rock and fixing it I'm going to build uh, basically a rain cap um, I see them online for like $40. It's called a mushroom, uh, a mushroom vent cap. And basically what I'm going to do is take a four inch cap and three screws and basically build my own for less than 10 bucks. It was, and you can see this was 689. It came to around eight bucks Canadian. So... That's gonna be my solution and I'll show you what I do. So basically this is the concept I'm going for. So what I did was I'm doing three screws going through and then, so this is a four inch cap and then it's gonna go over a three inch cap basically. So it's basically gonna sit as high as it can on the three inch pipe and these are going to screw in and just lightly clamp onto the three inch. Um, so what I have to do basically is drill a hole that's slightly smaller than my screw. This is what I have been doing. Slightly smaller than my screw. Uh, I heat up my screw for about like one second just on the very end like that black part there. So for about like one second or less, and then I start to screw it in and it's a little bit melted and it actually helps it form uh, threads. As you can see over here, you can turn it in and out very easily and try and pull it out and it doesn't move. So there's actually threads formed inside there and there's very minimal movement this way. And I think it will work just fine. It just has to hold on enough that wind doesn't blow it off, which doesn't have to be very much. So I'll take care of this last one and then we'll go up on the roof and I'll show you how it's installed. So here's my finished cap. So it's going to sit on top of my three inch uh, pipe, just like this. Like I said, this is made for under 10 bucks. You can see all the screws work perfectly fine, enough to grab onto that pipe. As long as you don't torque them down too much, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go put it up there. I'll insert a photo if I can find one of what I'm trying to replicate with this which like I said is worth probably like $45 to buy online um, from the quick search that I found but like like I said um, this was made for under 10 bucks and I think it's gonna work just just fine and hopefully solve the problem so we'll get up there and show you what it looks like so here's my finished cap installed as you can see I don't know if you can see up under but it's maybe about a half inch up. And then so it's got all this much room up above. And you can see it's probably got a half inch, half inch of air space all the way around. And yeah, so I mean, that's my solution. I mean, I came up here and we just had the roof replaced last year. So I mean, all this was perfectly fine. I didn't see any other issues around here. Yes these nails need to be covered but like I said it was actually coming down 
the side of the pipe on the inside. So I kind of ruled out these being an issue. Anyways, yeah, that's that's my cap. I'll show you from down below. So yeah, so I'm just on the ladder here, just showing you what it looks like at the end. I think it turned out pretty good and I think it's gonna be a good solution. Uh, it was quick, it, it was easy and cheap. And those are all things that I like. So if you think you have a problem with a broken pipe or water dripping out from your vent pipe somewhere, uh, hopefully this video helps you. And if you like what you've seen, uh, subscribe and like this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.